Hi, my name is Dr. Jamal Rahimi, and I work with my friends at the Suture Buddy, and today we're going to talk about some different types of suture pads. So we purchased a couple different ones on the internet, and uh, we're comparing them to the Suture Buddy Suture Pad, and let's talk a little bit about each one. Alright, so the first one you're going to see here is this guy right here. Now, uh, you might have sold on Amazon, sold all over the internet as well. Uh, it looks good. Uh, it's uh, pretty much made of rubber, uh, not made of anything else. Uh, and it's two layers and the one thing you'll notice is it does uh, start to peel back quite a bit so I don't know what to make of that uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at it um, the one beef, major beef I have actually with suturing with this guy is it's not deep enough the lacerations are barely even deep so it, it actually tears through quite often actually there's several of them through here so it doesn't, it doesn't keep as you can see like uh, uh, it's something you'd want deeper so that's a big deal there and um, it's a little too busy we don't do many of these other puncting lacerations I mean there's a lot going on here so uh, I think we can do better we're gonna skip over to suture buddy let's go over to this guy right here so here you see someone's done a better job as far as making the lacerations deeper so you do definitely get a good bite out of this one that's good uh, the couple things I don't like about this is I've had it for about a week, or, I mean, sorry, the first week I had it, uh, it started curling up pretty bad. So that's one thing. Uh, secondly, it doesn't have a mesh layer uh, like the we're going to go over in the Suture Buddy uh, Suture Pad. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, if you want to go cheap and uh, all that good stuff, yeah, this is the one to go. All right. So lastly, let's talk about this guy right here. This is our Suture Buddy Suture Pad. And you'll see here that we do have raised lacerations with lips on them as well as flush ones the reason behind that is you can actually for a very novice or beginner it's easier to grab the lip and still be able to suture and then you can move on to the more difficult one so there's one of each uh, if you look at here there are I'm going to turn this for you three layers and the most important thing is that mesh layer right that green layer that's what catches really keeps everything together and really feels more like tissue and so when you're when you're using this guy it's it's a little easier to use takes a staple great uh, can uh, do the flaps and everything else especially the flaps do really well uh, with these uh, lips as well to practice before you actually go do one of these guys on a, on a real person so overall you know you can get any kind you want uh, but uh, uh, if you want good practice, solid practice, and something that's going to really do you right, go for the Suture Buddy Suture Pad.